Hey guys, welcome back to the Mogo YouTube channel. Got a very interesting light to test today. It's called a killer grow light. So we're gonna see if that is true or a bit of an exaggeration. Jack's killer grow light, it's called for the full name. And it's uh, sent to me by ledhorticulture.de. All the links are in the description below. It's a German distributor, distributes right across Europe as far as I can see. And yeah, this is an interesting light. It's got all the things you would want in a high performance light. So it's got a solid meanwhile driver, high quality LED driver. It's Samsung and uh, Osram LEDs. It should perform well. It's got um, adjustable spectrum features. So it's got a veg where you can um, increase the blue basically in the um, veg stage of growth and increase blue gives shorter and denser growth. And then you can switch it over to the bloom and then additional infrared channels for the flower stage to maximize the power output of the fixture. Red's more photosynthetically efficient and you've got infrared there for those who want it for the flowering stage. It's confusingly called the one meter squared grow light, um, which um, isn't uh, the size or area, grow area that it should be used in. That would be too small, it's too powerful light for that. But it is about one meter squared in size, so we'll assume that that's what they meant. <laughs> it's about a meter by a meter or three and a half foot by three and a half foot and therefore fits perfectly into a four foot by four foot or 1.2 by 1.2 meter space. That's what we tested it in. Optimum hang height we found was 45 centimeters or 18 inches and that gives a very nice spread around the grow area and the result was an average par of 740 micromoles per meter square per second which is extremely good right up there in the high end you're really optimizing your grow area with this that size of grow area with this size of fixture consumes 537 watts and then gives a system efficiency of 1.99 usable ppf per watt or power output per watt which is a very good result other features which i liked about it so um, very easy to assemble you take it out of the box, unfold it, pop the driver on the back, plug it in and you're ready to go. So very easy. You've got um, acrylic covers over the LEDs, which I thought would drop the efficiency down, but obviously didn't. Um, so good transference through the um, acrylic. You can control multiple units together. So Jack's um, sun timer integrates with the unit. Uh, you've got your ORS cable to connect them up and you can connect up to 20 units together and um, very intuitive uh, controller, very simple to use for multiple lights, um, set your dimming and your, um, your on off control and all of that stuff. So overall, very user friendly light, high performing, not the cheapest, but nor should it be because it's uh, lots of good features. And uh, yeah, LED horticulture.d, they uh, obviously ship across Europe. I'm not sure about outside of that, but definitely available for uh, all of Europe and very nice guys to deal with. Um, nice website, lots of additional information on the website. They test their lights themselves and investigate them thoroughly, anything they sell. So give you good confidence. And uh, yeah, nice fixture overall and very happy with the output. So happy to recommend it. As usual, if you have any comments or queries, please leave them uh, down below and we will get back to them as soon as we can. Take care.